still this quick and natural makeup routine. Why do I always look better in the mirror than I look in the camera? So I already have prepped my skin and I have my foundation here on the back of my hand. If you want a natural finish, you should apply less product and also put it on the back of your hand first or on a mixing palette first before applying it onto your face. And then I'm going to take my damn beauty blender and I'm going to balance it into the foundation and that's how I will start applying it onto my face. Then just lightly bouncing it. Bouncing the beauty blender lightly will keep the coverage on your face, on your skin. I'm not using a lot of foundation here. You can see this, this is more like I spread it onto my on the back of my hand. So it looks a lot more, but it's not too much. I only took half a pump out. This method of applying foundation will give you the most natural finish. I also want to mention here that you should take your time during this step because this is the most using foundation and getting a very nice natural finish of the foundation is the most important step of a natural makeup routine. So you should take your time when you're doing this and blend it as much as you can. And then I'm not going to apply concealer. I'm taking the same foundation and I am going to pat it with my finger under my eyes not too close to the eyes and after you're done applying it take your beauty blender and just blend it quickly if you want more coverage you could let the concealer or the foundation sit under your eyes for a while and that will give you a lot more coverage and then i'm also going to use whatever is left on the beauty blender i'm going to use it on the lids to prime my eyes my hair is a mess then take whatever is left and just blend it lightly into your neck i don't go here i've said it like a million times in my videos that i don't put foundation here because when it comes to remove it at the end of the day uh it's very difficult and <laughs> the water runs down here and it really annoys me so i'm just going to blend it here so that it doesn't look like a mask on my face and we're going to keep everything very simple today so i'm going to use a blush again use everything on the back of your hand first and then apply it onto your face I am applying this blush this way you can control the amount of product you are using and also it helps blend the product better and gives you a more natural finish then I'm going to use you can also mix your highlighter with your blush but what I'm doing is I'm just dotting them over each other first I applied the blush and now I'm using a highlighter and I'm just dotting it there and then I'm going to use the same finger which I was using to apply these two products and I'm going to blend the highlighter and blush together onto my face and it gives a very nice natural glow. I love doing this and uh, this also saves a lot of time and I love doing this because uh, it makes your cheeks glow like you have that glow from within and it looks really beautiful and natural so that's what i'm doing and blend as much as possible and this is all that i do for face but at the end of applying all the cream products if you want to add bronzer you can look at my hair <laughs> anyways you can use a damn beauty blender and just go over the blush you can see the blush looks so natural this step will blend everything together like your foundation your blush and your highlighter so you can do this uh, at the end of applying all the cream products and we're done with the skin makeup with the face makeup I'm, I'm gonna fix my hair real quick because it's okay it's barely fixed but i couldn't find my hair clip i don't know where all of them are but anyways i tucked it behind my ear and then i'm going to move the eyes my favorite eyeshadow fell down and broke into a million tiny pieces look at this and i'm going to use it this is my favorite eyeshadow ever and I'm going to take it on my brush, on my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to lightly brush my... Where is my mirror? Found it. Lightly brush my lids with this, and I'm going to do it on both eyes. Getting myself a little shadow, a little contour here, right, beh uh, right beneath the brow bone, gives dimension to my eyes. So if you have hooded eyes, you could do this step and it will make your eyes look a lot more deeper. And it will also give the illusion of more lid space. Then I'm just blending it as much as I can because this is a natural makeup look. We don't want anything to stand out too much. This eyeshadow color is also very close to the color of my natural lid. So if you want a very natural eyeshadow, you could use uh, an eyeshadow which is closer to the color of your natural lid and it will still give you that finished beautiful look. And then I love sparkles, I love glitter. I'm going to use this eyeshadow. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use just a little bit in the middle of my lid just a tad here and then i'm going to use another finger to 
slightly blended into the brown eyeshadow that I applied before. This gives that sparkly look to your eyes and also makes my eyes look more open. And I love sparkles, so I cannot resist them. I'm also going to apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. So let me go get my brush. I'm using a pencil brush for this because this is the easiest brush to apply in the inner corners or any small corners. So making some more because I'm crazy for glitter. See how beautiful it makes your eyes look. This does not look natural anymore. <laughs> Maybe apply a little less than I applied. I love sparkles so much, I cannot resist them. Okay, that's not too bad, right? It's still natural. And we're done with the eyes. Uh, I'm going to come back with uh, mascara. First, I'm going to do my brows. And I'm using this Absolute Matte Palette for my brows. I'm going to use this. This is from Catrice. Again, all the products will be in the description box. I'm using this dark brown shade from here. And I'm going to use this to fill in my brows and brush them out. You can also use a brow gel to fill in your brows. But I have been using eyeshadow. And also, I don't have a brow gel. I've been using eyeshadow to fill in my brows for years now. So I don't find it difficult. But if you're a beginner, you could use a brow gel and do very light strokes of the brow gel. And then just blend it with a spoolie brush. And that will give you the most natural finish. I just go like this with my brush and it spreads the color throughout the eyebrow and then I am going to use a spoolie brush and blend in the color. Do not apply it. Here's a little tip for you. Do not apply too much color right here at the start of the brow because that is what makes it unnatural. I did this comedy on natural makeup tutorial in my in three videos ago, I think. Uh, if you go and browse my channel, I have this parody of, uh, is this comedy of natural makeup tutorial where I do the box brows and it was so funny. I, I couldn't keep a straight face when I was doing it. It was so funny. It looked, it looked terrible and ridiculous. And then I am just going to blend this using a spoolie brush to blend in the color. It gives a very natural brow and I think every beginner or everyone should do this because it spreads the color evenly onto your brows and gives you a really nice natural finish you can see it for yourself then you can apply an eyeliner if you want with this if you want a very natural makeup look i don't recommend using an eyeliner but if you do you can use a pencil an eye pencil a black eye pencil or a brown one brown is better for natural but you can use it to tight line your eyes and this will give a boundary to your eyes and make your eyelashes and your eyes look more fuller so what you can do is you can tight line your uh, upper waterline do not apply it in the lower waterline because that will look very unnatural but you, you can use it here in the upper waterline i'm not gonna do it i just wanted to let you know that this is something you can do if you're going for a natural look and you still want to use eyeliner but keep it natural or you can use an angle brush and you can use one of the eyeshadows a uh, darker brown eyeshadow or a lighter brown eyeshadow like some something from these three and you can this is a really good palette by the way for beginners i have had this palette for a very long time and it has all the basic nude colors so if you're a beginner and looking for a good affordable palette this could be the one this is from Catrice. So you could use an angle brush and you can slightly do a line with the eyeshadow very close to your lash line. That can work. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm going to do very light mascara because again, keeping it natural. For natural makeup looks, I prefer using very light layer of mascara. And I only use lengthening mascaras most of the time because they are lighter than the volumizing mascaras, obviously. Again, it's up to you. Makeup is for fun. You can customize the look as you want. And once I'm done curling my lashes, I'm going to lightly brush them with a mascara. As I said, I prefer a lighter mascara look with my natural makeup look i do go heavy on them when i'm doing glam makeup but for natural makeup you don't want them to stand out too much my birds realized that i'm filming a video so they decided to start screaming 
<laughs> you see these holes in my shirt i don't know if you can see them on camera but there are like a few holes in my shirt and my birds did it if you have birds and you're watching this you already know what i'm talking about and then i'm going to moisturize my lips because they feel very dry so i'm gonna go find my lip balm i found it this is from nivea and i'm not using too much because then the lips start looking glossy and doesn't look very natural so i'm just going to apply a little in the center of my lips and spread it and then i'm using a lip liner to line my lips i think for natural makeup looks you should use a lip liner so it is like your lips but better and i'm going to apply a lipstick it is going to rain soon that's why the lighting is not very good in my videos these days there's no sun and it's been raining constantly day and night and then i'm going to take my lipstick and i'm using just a little in the middle and then i'm going to use my finger to spread it if you watch my videos you already know that i don't like applying products directly onto my face or on my lips i use it on my finger first i take it out use it on my finger and then apply it because then again you can control the amount of product and it blends a lot better so that's what i'm doing and we're done with the makeup i'm going to fix my hair i'm going to try to fix my hair i don't have high hopes for it but let me shake them a little i need hair serum let me go calm them okay i think they look a lot better than they did before <laughs> so yeah that is it and i paired this look with these really small diamond like earrings these are in silver and also my necklace it was a gift from one of my very good friends from cambodia and i love it and that is it i love how the lashes came out this is basically the natural makeup look you could always change the lip shade or use a different eyeshadow customize this look as you want i do have a lot of natural makeup tutorials natural makeup oriented tutorials on my channel so you could go and check those out browse my channel and find other videos that you are interested in and that is it for this video i hope you learned something and also enjoyed it with me i had a lot of fun filming this of course i'd love for you to stay here on my channel subscribe and hang out with me and yeah take care of yourself and your loved ones and i'll see you soon in another video